Okay Google, tell me what's the weather today? It's super sunny and 2 degrees hotter than what it was yesterday. What's wrong with the weather? It just keeps getting hotter and hotter. You know what's the meaning of weather, right? It's the changes we see and feel outside from day to day. It might rain one day and be sunny the next day. Sometimes it's cold and sometimes it's so hot. It can change from place to place. Whereas climate means the average conditions of the weather for a longer period of time at any particular place. Now that we know the difference between weather and climate, it would be easy to understand the term climate change. Newspapers, Twitter, radio, news channels and even Instagram are flooded with climate change awareness these days. So today, let's simplify everything about climate change. The literal meaning of climate change is climate change, that is change in the climate. NASA describes it as a change in the usual weather found in a place. This could be a change in how much rain a place usually gets in a year or it could be a change in the place's usual temperature for a month or a season. Now, climate change is also the change in the Earth's climate. This could be a change in the Earth's usual temperature or it could be a change in where rain and snow usually fall on Earth. But what has caused the Earth's climate to change? The answer is simple. It's us, humans. Did you know 2011 to 2020 was the warmest decade ever? Our activities are slowly killing our planet. Scientists say that greenhouse gas emissions are the primary cause of climate change. Now, what are greenhouse gases? No, it's not a green gas in our houses. There are gases like carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide and chlorofluorocarbons in the Earth's atmosphere, creating a blanket around the planet. Now, this blanket is what makes the planet the best place to live. These gases let the sun's rays pass through and reach the Earth's surface, but they trap the sun's heat and they do not let it escape our atmosphere. And humans, through our activities, are just increasing these gases in the Earth's atmosphere. Did you know carbon dioxide emission are the major source for the rise in greenhouse gases? And it comes from factories and automobiles. Methane gas concentration increases by excessive landfills. Aerosols and air conditioners increase the chlorofluorocarbons in the atmosphere. And the black smoke you see leaving the vehicles during traffic times, that contains nitrous oxide. Apart from these, we also very casually cut down trees. Now, we all know during photosynthesis, plants take up carbon dioxide and give us oxygen. When we cut these trees, the carbon dioxide just keeps building up in the atmosphere. This has been going on for years. How much trouble are we in? The Earth's temperature has risen and will continue to rise even more. And the glaciers and the polar caps are melting continuously. But how does this affect us, right? We lose our source of fresh water as the glaciers and snow caps melt into the ocean, increasing the level of the oceans. Did you know the sea level has risen by 4 to 8 inches in the past 100 years? Now, rising sea level causes excessive flooding, hurricanes and storms. If this continues, the coastal regions soon will disappear. Did you know the tropical paradise of Maldives, the island country, might disappear by the end of this century? What else will we lose? We will lose our cute-looking polar bears and other animals that live only in the snow. We are just one single human, right? Can we do anything to reverse climate change? Yes, everyone can help limit climate change. The UN recommends starting with these six simple actions. Number one, walk, bike or use public transport. Please stop clogging the road with vehicles that burn petrol and diesel, which just keeps adding to the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. If you have to drive, switch to an electric car if possible. Number two, eat more vegetables. Plant-based foods use less water, less energy and also produce lesser greenhouse gases as compared to meat. If possible, go vegan and save the earth. Number three, throw away less food. What you throw just gets added to the landfill and produces methane gas. Consume everything you buy and compost the leftovers. Number four, reduce, reuse, repair and recycle. 
electronics, clothes and other items we buy cause carbon emissions at each point in their production. To protect our climate, buy fewer things, shop second hand, repair what you can and recycle. Number 5. Plant more trees Every birthday, you could plant just one tree and reduce some carbon dioxide from this atmosphere. Number 6. Lastly, speak up and get others to join in taking action. It's one of the quickest and the most effective way to make a difference. Talk to your friends, family and colleagues. We need more people like Greta Thunberg. Climate change is a task for all of us. No one can do it alone, but we can do it all together. Let's save our earth for our future generations. Like, share and subscribe to Let's Do It for such eye-opening content every week. See you later.